so obsessed when I fall in love And why do I cry Every time when you express what is on your mind I think Obsession is probably my smoothest production yet. I used to think Just Not Married was until Obsession. Um, there was absolutely no stress. It was super fun, super easy. We were working like we weren't working. Um, the cast and crew were just fantastic and everyone was perfect for what they were doing. You know, so it just made it a very smooth and nice production. Uh, why Obsession? Uh, that's a very funny one because People have been asking, why did you pick the story? Why did you pick the script? What is your inspiration? You know, what inspired the story? And all that, nothing actually. Um, funny enough, this would have been my first feature film. Um, so I have this writer, her name is Rita Awura, and um, Oduak introduced me to her and, and I contacted her to write a script for me. Immediately after we shot Not Right, and um, that was in 2014 and when the script came i liked it i thought it was it was strong i thought it had a lot of values that would be nice in today's world you know um because it's two different stories of two different families one where the husband is choked up with work and he's neglecting his wife and then the other family is the wife who is a career woman neglecting her home front you know and leaving the husband you know bad, more or less, you know. And um, so it's something that is applicable to today's world and I, I thought that was a good story to tell because there was a lot of elements in it that could appeal to just anybody, not just even not just married people but also single people so they get to see how important it, it is um, to note that family should always come first. You should never ever, for whatever reason, neglect your family and leave them out in the open no matter what. You should always find time, you know, to spend time um, with your family, always find time to communicate with your spouse you know, and let them know where you're at, what you're doing, and um, where things are going, not just you just let them be and just let things, you know, happen the way it happens. So that's why obsession, actually, a lot of people are obsessed with a lot of things. So you all need to watch out to see what's obsessing what in obsession. Hello, my name is Uduakobong Patrick. I'm a film producer and director. Why, why I chose to direct the movie was a no-brainer. Um, it's always fun working with Judith. Um, for what it's worth, we click on so many levels. Um, we're, we're very good friends. Um, uh, and uh, I always like working together with her because we tend to have a lot of parallel visions and parallel um, ideas when it comes to creativity and filmmaking. My name is Oludara Egerton Shingle. I play the role of Simi, who is best friends with Aret. Um, you know how we all have, have that crazy friend and you have to kind of be the voice of reason to that friend. So I am the voice of reason to Aret's craziness. Action. I was watching that now. Is that why you refuse to answer the door? It's just that I have my own way of showing her that I, everything I do is for her own good. And that includes a lot of insults, but hey, I had to get the job done, so. And you, my friend, you need to leave her. I need Bia Davis. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Bia Davis, shut up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hi, my name is Ifu Ennada. The character that I play on Obsession is called Aret. Now, Aret is a young girl who has successfully built this world of fantasy and illusions where she's in love with an A-list actor, Bio Davis. Now, one thing leads to another, she gets a job as a nanny at the home of Bio Davis, and um, her fantasy begins to become a reality. And she now becomes, when her obsession begins to play out, she becomes the center, the cause of the breakup of Bio Davis's family. As far as she's concerned, she's in love with Bio Davis and it's not an illusion and she's not psychotic. 
I think Arit is really interesting. I love um, the character. It's quite different from other characters that I've played in the past. I like the fact that at different stages she um, emits or displays several emotions and that's and they all have to be articulated properly so it's quite challenging at some point yes I mean I I, I had to take swimming lessons <laughs> for a swimming posting that I had but Iris is really interesting I love her my name is Jimmy Black and um most of the time I'm an actor. What I do after hours, I don't like to tell anyone because I wear a cape at the time and, you know, uh, Marvel wants to make a comic of it, but we'll keep over that. I play the role of Barry Davis and um, he's, um, he's an actor that is not exactly um, getting a lot of offers at the moment. And something interesting is happening in his uh, marital life as well. There's a rift of sorts, and then someone comes into his family, into his life, to spice things up. But is it for good or otherwise? You'll find out when you see the movie. My name is Odera Olivia Oji, and I'm playing the character, or I played the character of Ene. Ene is a mother, she's a housewife, uh, she's also working class lady and Anna is someone who desires her husband's attention and some sort of love once in a while. So uh, there's a lot about Anna. Anna is loyal, she's faithful, she's against whatever happens later but mm, I think she's she's actually a very sweet person. Is there anything wrong? What did I do? You didn't do anything, okay? It's it's this report, okay? I just have to prepare it and, you know, it comes with a deadline. I really felt for Ene Well, I was playing this role. Like, I could understand what she was going through and all that. So now you're too busy to pay your wife some attention. Like, it's beginning to look like I don't matter anymore. You do all the other things is so hurtful. What's going on? My name is Molly Gavoy and I play the role of Kamar on the movie Obsession. Uh, so Kamar is the, he is the antagonist, basically. He's like the bad guy, sort of like the crazy guy, which is interesting to play because usually it's, um, it's not boring to play the good guy, but it's more fun to play the bad guy. Playing a bad guy is way more um, of a challenge. It's way more fascinating, way more intriguing than playing the good guy. Mar is the guy who seeks to cause some havoc in a happily married woman's life. Pretty much the bad guy. So it's been an interesting role, being the guy who's uh, in love with a married woman, obviously, and the, the things that come about with that are always interesting, so. Do I Why do I get so but he does have a lot of fun being bad, and I had a lot of fun playing Kamar, so, so far so good. did I decide to work with Uduak Obang Patrick again? I'm not trying to, um, you know, make him look larger than life or something, but of all the directors I've worked with, um, Uduak is among my top three best directors in Nigeria. I can actually say in Africa, even though I haven't worked with a lot of African directors. There's something about him, there's something unique about him, there's something different about him, there's something that makes him tick, there's something that makes him stand out. Um, he's an actor's director, he's an amazing actor's director. Uduak knows how to put actors in, the, in a character without them even realizing they're becoming the character, without stressing them, you know, without making them do anything out of the ordinary, but then they end up doing things out of the ordinary, not realizing they're doing it. On action, Action. I'm putting the cuffs on you. Go. I'm carrying you. Wow. I thought you loved me. Don't let her fail. Don't let her fail. She'll resist arrest. Only mm -hmm. that out. Only that. But please take it easy. She's still a woman. This is my first time working with the director, Udwak Obon Patrick. And I must say that 
he is an amazing director he's an amazing man i love the fact that he has all these amazing ideas and vision of how he wants the character to be played and he also leaves room open for your suggestions and um, if you know they are in line with his vision he articulates it into what he already ha has i like the fact that um he just takes our time to guide you in order to bring out the best so he's not in a rush to do anything he's a professional and he's just amazing. This is my first time working with him, and I think I want to work with him again. He's, he's an amazing person. He helps, he makes it you know, easier for you to get into character and just execute your role. And why do I cry? Yes, this is my first time working with the director, and I can say he's good and professional. He brings out the best in you, and he knows what he wants, and he tells you what he wants. See, um, that line where you say it's high time, can we change it to...? Yes, I enjoyed working with you. Mr. Patrick, uh, hmm. this was not my first time working with him actually. I've worked with him on another show and he is someone who knows how to coerce the kind of emotions he desires from an actor. He just makes the work seem effortless and quite easy. It's not all the time that you find that. He's an actor's director, if I can say that, yes. He's a, he's an interesting guy. Uh, working with the director, Uduak, it's, it's pretty easy, because um, it's not my first time working with him, so obviously that makes things not so hard. But um, he's probably one of the easiest people to work with, because he does everything possible to make sure that you feel comfortable, that you actually get into the role, as opposed to and the kind of person that he is, he's a great character, he's a great personality, an easy person to talk to and work with. So that part, the director part, is actually probably the easiest part of this job. Patrick Kudwak is <laughs> one of the best. Every time when you reveal what is in your heart, the heart of the um, Udwak Obong Patrick. I've never worked with him before, it was my first time working with him. And he knew exactly what he wanted, which is a great thing to meet a director that knows exactly what he wants and pass that information on to his actor, which is not something that we get a lot. It's like, this is what I want, but I don't know how to make you do it, you know. Even before we started filming at all, like he sat down and kind of created a vibe between me and um, Aret, and that really helped, you know. So I really, really enjoyed working with him and hopefully get to work with him again. Someone who's dedicated to his craft, is willing to give it all and um, willing to push the envelope and even tear it on occasion to make sure that everything turns out well. And uh, so far, so good on the project. <laughs> oh, now you're black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> I swear you need to see your face. He knows what he wants, and if he gets what he wanted, it's good. And that, that really helps. So it was fantastic working with him being the first time. I'm really looking forward to that again. You know, I'm really looking forward to working with him again, no doubt. He's amazing at that. He's grounded. He knows his onion. He he takes his time to break down his script. He takes his time to go through the script. He takes his time to understand each character, you know, in total, and make sure the actors also understand their characters. Make sure the actors also, you know, know the motivation behind every single move they take. So when you come on set, shoot is usually very smooth because the actor has would have found a way to communicate to his cast, would have found a way to communicate to his crew, and they will be on the same page. So you won't be on set, and then you'll have a confused DOP or a confused actor, because everyone would have understood what they are supposed to do because the director would have carried all of them along, you know? So it's always amazing to work with Odwak. It's always fun to work with Odwak. I always look forward to working with Odwak. Um, aside the fact that he's my best friend, um, there is this teenager we have, there is this awesome working chemistry we have, um, which is awesome. Um, we're an amazing team. So it's, it's really nice working with him. I, of course, I will not always, you know, work with him when it comes to um, stories and directing. But when I see a script that I feel is perfect for him, that I feel is strong for him, I would always call him. It will always be fun to call him. Um, yeah, someone was asking after a successful outing with um, Just Not Married, which he directed, um, they would have thought we'll be doing everything together. But 
He also has his own production company in which he needs to, of course, build. I have my own production company which I need to build. But every time I see a script that is perfect for him, I'll call him. It's always fun working with him. I love him so much because I think he is one of the best directors we have in Nigeria. And I would say that over and over and over and over again. Udwek is awesome. Working with the other cast, um, it was great. I met Ifu and I met um, Odera and they were just amazing. Our vibe was great. We kind of got along. I also met um, Femi Branch, which was also great. Like it was just, it was just really chill and I'm all for like positive, chill vibes. And that's, that's what I got from the cast. Working with the other cast members, um, it's been, Great so far. I, I didn't know a lot of them before I got on the set. I knew some of them. I know who they are, so it's it's nice getting to know them personally, getting to actually work together for once. So, working with uh, working with, of course, Jizit, working with Mr. Femi Branch, working with Mawi Gavo, and every other person has been awesomely amazing. Uh, Mr. Femi, of course, very understanding, always ready to correct you and put you on track. Mawuli, Evely, charming and cute and everything you can have, makes your work flawless. And Judith, Judith is just a mighty powerhouse, mighty, mighty powerhouse. It was awesome, really awesome. Yeah, and of course, my son. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely child, lovely boy, yeah. One thing I respect Judith a lot for is having the uncanny ability to cast right. There's nothing like um, having the right actors with the right skill set to deliver a role. Um, we did go back and forth on who and who would play certain roles. We had some people penned down, which were also great choices, but um, their schedule didn't allow for it. The people we ended up with, the people we ended up having on the project were were what I would call the best choice or the choice best. Um, they delivered well. They kind of made my work almost easy or almost too easy. Um, but there's nothing like having, like a director having the right cast to help him bring to life the ideas and the visions which he has for the characters and the performance. Uh, it, was, it was very easy. It was very easy and I enjoyed working with them and um, I can, I, I, I wouldn't mind working with them over again. Um, when it comes to production, I love to cast. Um, I love, I love to, to just put people to what I feel they are perfect for. I see in pictures, I read in pictures. Um, so every time I'm reading a script, I see people for the roles immediately I'm reading the script. So it's almost impossible and difficult for me to double cast most times because I see a character for a role. So most times when I call the actors and they're not available, it's always difficult for me. So when I read the scripts, um, the first time I saw the scripts, the lead character, who is a failed actor, um, I wanted Yemi Black to play it. And um, I was so happy he finally got to play it. Yemi Black is one of my favorite Nigerian actors, you know, and um, I saw Yemi Black for that role. And then the role of Tega, who is the other husband to the other family, I wanted to family branch to play it and I was also so happy he played it as my two best actors, you know, and I've, I feel so honoured and privileged that they came on board um, to bring these scripts to life. It was fantastic, it was fantastic. 
how I cast it for the other characters exactly the same. I read the script, I saw them. The lady that got to play Aret, Ifu Enada, Ifu, I met on the set. And I remember the very first time I saw her, I told her she had fire in her eyes. There's something different about her, there's something unique about her. She always has, has this way of bringing her characters to life. She always tries to dig deep. She always wants to give more. She always wants to give probably almost maybe too much of herself just to make sure the character is believable, just to make sure she can pass that message across, just to make sure she can bring this character to life in a way that when you see it, you'll be questioning, okay, who is Ifu, who is this character? You know, and I was so happy she brought that fire and everything onto this set. So it was fun casting for it. Um, I didn't want to play any role, <laughs> so I didn't even cast myself for it, but. As fate would have it, um, the person we wanted for the character wasn't in the country. And then I was like, okay, so Judith, I would do, put on your acting cap and, you know, get there and play that role. So it was really great um, doing all that and playing alongside actors that I admire a lot in the industry. We had Yemi Black, we had Femi Branch, we had um, Odara Olivia, Oji Oludara, another amazing young talent. We had Uche. Um, and then, oh, we had a baby that had his director, his um, acting debut. <laughs> Said Patrick, yeah, watch out for the baby. <laughs> what do I think about the producer, Judith? Judith, Judith, Judith. Judith is amazing. Judith is, uh, Judith is one of a kind. No one takes the movie as personally as Judith does, which is a great thing because she might she might be the producer and everything, but you will see her running around, busting a gut, like picking up things, carrying things. And once you see someone like that doing what she needs to do, everyone knows that they need to do what they have to do. The crew, the actors, the extras, everyone can see the level of effort going into it. So we all give 100%. She brings a certain level of efficiency to the project. So um, personality, but she's amazing. So it's two for two women. <laughs> Judith is, I call her superwoman. Working with her, having her as my producer, this on set was just, I don't know how she does it. That girl has the strength of 10 men, like, and the way she just took charge without being, excuse my French, bitchy about it. Like, she was just like, I'm in charge, but I'm also a human being that respects people. It's, it's a balance that a lot of people know in the industry. So it was, it was great working with her. I like her personally, even out of work. Hello everybody, my name is Stephanie Steve Kaduri. Uh, I played the role of the secretary in the movie Obsession. At least this is the second time I've been on set with Judith Aldo. I can say she's really amazing and she knows how to work under pressure. So it's easy working with her because of the kind of person she is. She's friendly, free-spirited, and it was easy for me to play the character with her as my auntie, and I enjoyed it. It's been a long time coming, you know, and um, I've seen her work, and I've heard a lot about her, and I've known her as a, I mean, I've known her as a friend for a long time, so it's the first time working together, and uh, She's a really nice person to start with. She's really sweet. She knows what she's doing. And that mixture is very endearing when someone is very proficient at what they're doing and they're also very sweet, you know? So you just find out everyone's working tirelessly to make sure that um, everything works out right. And I've seen people work not because they're paid to work, they work because they enjoy working in the environment that she's created. So yeah, kudos to her. She has strength, her zeal, her passion is just amazing. It's, it's something that for a woman, hmm, for a woman, I, I salute you, man. Like, I salute you. You are just incredible. And you have no idea how many people you inspire out there. I'm actually one of them and I'm, I'm in awe. Like I said, I'm in awe. I think I'm beginning to recline more way and may more be behind the cameras. Um, funny enough, I actually did way more than that this time. I was producing, I was the production manager, I was the location manager, and then I got to act in it. Um, so it was a lot of tasks, but then funny enough, it wasn't stressful at all um, because I was able to 
manage everything properly. I was able to put on each cap at the right time, when it was time for the producer's cap, when it was time for the production manager's cap, when it was time for the location manager's cap, and then when it was time for the actor's cap. So I take off each cap when it was time to do that. And I had fun, I had fun doing all four of them um, because I made sure none of them interfered with the other or none of them clashed with the other. So there was no point in time where I was supposed to be acting and then I'll be thinking of the other things because I had planned everything properly. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, there were some, you know, steamy and some steamy scenes that I, I actually enjoyed. Come on. <laughs> okay, I mean Ene, not Odera. <laughs> oh, Odera, get a hold of yourself. Okay, like I said, <laughs> my memorable scenes. I will not forget in a hurry. That would be the scene that I had to tell my husband what happened to my son and the scene where my son was dropped back to the house. And when I had to tell my husband what happened and, you know, how it happened, I don't want to give you guys everything, so you have to watch the film to really find out what I'm talking about. I can't forget that scene in the horror. Yeah, it was quite, uh, it was quite deep. The scene where um, Kamar came, where after threatening him that he had to let go of my son, and he brought my son back. You know, the the being a father myself. I do not even want to invite, I don't even want to invite him in that kind of situation. I, I cannot even, no, no parent will want to even think of it. But the joy of seeing him back at my son, then the anger of seeing the guy that was not just doing my wife, but also came up. That was, a, for me, that was an intense scene of mixing those two emotions. Then the other one was the scene, um, the bedroom scene with myself and my wife in the story, that's how uh, there that NA in the story. Um, because I really, as an actor, you know, I felt bad for her. You know, because um, at the end of the day, I tell you, look at the story, my wife is okay, fine, you know, the guy pushed her out, or you know, he pushed her out, but there's no reason for what she did, there's no excuse rather for what she did, but then again, I felt that uh, the, the guy did not try at all. So even as, in, as Femi Brands now, I felt that man take that, take that, take that, take that, take that mess up. He didn't try at all. Because that, that scene was, was a very, I mean, that experience was a very traumatic for any woman to find herself, you know, wanting her man and it's just perpetually not to work. Which is the mistake a lot of us do. Maybe I'm guilty of it because I don't know what to do. I think I should be branch. So that's it. <laughs> What should people look out for in this film? I like the story. I like the story and I think a lot of people would like it too. And on some front, relate to it. Maybe not the story as a whole, but bits and pieces, you know. There's so much to learn. There's so, so much to learn. I think uh, people should, should, for once, for once, look beyond the entertainment value of the film and just Go for the message because it's, it's something that is really affecting our society as a people. Well, Obsession the movie has to do with problems uh, couples face in their relationships, how best to work through it so everything becomes better. The movie teaches life lessons about marriage and relationship and other things that you can pick from it. So watch out for the life lessons to learn from it. Okay, I would say the scene where I, I threaten the life of Colin, that's Bio Davis and Tricia's son, in order to get Bio's attention, will be my favorite scene. It's my favorite scene because then there's a part of Aret's emotions that actually that, that actually gets people to fall in love with her in a way that, because people now see that this girl, this girl is genuinely in love. And maybe for some reason she should be excused 
Maybe for some reason, Bio Davis has also contributed to making this illusion of hers a very catastrophic reality. I think I, I like the fact that there's a whole lot of emotions playing there. And even though she's a bit crazy, we actually see that she's genuinely in love with this guy. And that for me is a beautiful thing. So yes, that's one of my favorite scenes. I, 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 really, I really love Arid in that um, form. There's a, there's, a, there's, there's a couple of steamy, steamy um, lovemaking scenes. Those are always interesting because you, you see them on camera and you assume it's this hot, steamy affair, but in real life, it's actually anything but. So, so uh, it's probably memorable, but uh, almost everything we've shot so far has been some kind of interesting, so. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are lots of memorable scenes in this in this movie. Uh, once again, when you see, you understand it. But uh, one of the most memorable is the um, is the climax scene where everything comes to a head in Bio Davis's family and uh, the dynamics between the thing that happened that shouldn't have happened and the president happened to and how it affects him and how that is something that happens in life all the time. You know, men are always in search of the golden fleas, men are always in search of the greener pastures and, uh, well. I, I did have a number of scenes I would uh, not forget. Um, the, the climax of the movie. Um, for me, when, I, when I'm reading the script, I always look out for, for three, three high points of the film and I did have that. Um, so there were three high points for me. Um, when, when a child was kidnapped, when, it, when the life of a child was threatened, and um, the end of the film, the end of the film was, was very interesting for me. Uh, the, the, the actors gave me believable performances and they were willing to push themselves. They were, in fact, they just gave me a, a, a blank canvas to create whatever I wanted to create. And it was, it was, it was, it was quite an interesting ride. I would, uh, the crew, I would want to start with the director of photography. He's also a very good friend, David White. And um, this will be the third time I'll be working with him as a DOP. And when he's, when he, he just takes, stands back and watch me direct the actors or block the actors. And while I'm blocking, he's setting the cameras, asking them to put the lights where, where they should be. And in the end, by the time I'm done working with the actors, we're also done with the cameras and we just get to shoot. He makes, he makes, he makes the work very easy. He is one of those people who doesn't like to cross boundaries. He knows his place and he stays in his place and does and deliver excellence on his job. And um, sound guys were good too. The lighting department were good. Costuming, we had, we had, I'd spoken with the costume and stylist and she delivered, she delivered excellently. Same thing with the makeup and hair department and um, props department. So we did, we, did had, we did have a few hitches there and there, but all in all, it was uh, a pleasurable experience. My crew, um, how do I put my crew together? Everybody always asks me that question because they feel um, I seem to always bring people together and make them become a family on set. Um, even when I'm doing production management on other people's sets, it's the same thing. This is what I do, yeah. When I'm on set, not necessarily my set, when I'm somewhere working or when I'm, I study people a lot. Um, so when I see people that are passionate about what they do, people that have passion for what they do, people that are dedicated, you know, I link up with them and when I have a job, I always try and involve them in it if they are free. Um, because there's this thing I believe, when you're passionate about what you do, when you love what you do, when you're dedicated, you know, and determined to be the best at what you do, you're driven by that passion. And when you're driven by passion, there's a difference when you're working. You don't get tired. You love what you do. You won't complain unnecessarily. You won't be negative. You won't have this negative energy around you. There will be this positive vibe when you're around, regardless of who you're working with, regardless of the fact that you probably are working with those people for the very first time. But because you love your job, and because you're working with another person that loves their job, that knows their job, automatically they will be bonding, and automatically they will be that 
that synergy between the both of you. There will be that positive energy, you know, in the room because everybody is there for one single purpose and that single purpose they would all collectively try to achieve. So I always try and bring together a crew, you know, a group of people that know their job, that are passionate about their job, that are dedicated and that are determined, you know, to bring, to bring the best um, always to life and are driven, you know, by this thing that they love to do. So guys, um, like you know, Judy's Howdo Production have never disappointed you and we will not start now. We have put in a lot into this project. Um, I can boldly say this is probably one of my best productions yet. And um, I am saying to you, watching me right now, yes, you right, you there watching me right now, yes. Please go to Roku TV, go to Rock TV and watch Obsession. You would love it. And please, we'll be waiting to hear your feedback. Let us know what you think about the film. Let us know where you want us to improve in. Let us know what we did well, you know, and we would love to, we would love to hear your feedback. I always love to hear feedback. I love critics because they make me become better at what I do. So please go and watch Obsession. Um, you would know someone that knows someone that knows someone that something like that has happened to. You would love it. There's a bit of, there's, there's a lot of drama in it. There is, there is suspense, you know, there's a lot of things that you're going to love in it. So please watch out for us, Obsession and trust me, you would love it. Trust you did all the productions, we need a full hand, so this one is also going to be fantastic. Obsession, thank you so much. What are you obsessed about? I would love to hear it though. And please fam, you can follow us on social media, um, our social media platform. Obsession the movie you can follow us on Instagram on Twitter you know so you can see all our latest updates our behind the scene pictures our behind the scene videos you know just follow us and tell us what you like about it um, you know we're there always waiting to listen and hear what you have to say well you can also follow me on social media too all my social media platforms so Judith Audu Judith Audu on Facebook on Twitter on Instagram on LinkedIn Judith Audu thank you very much peace out <laughs>